Good evening, my friends. Alejandro Mayorkas furiously backpedals after claiming an acute and immediate need for border wall. Zero Hedge had a feeling this was coming, and less than two days after reports emerged that the Department of Homeland Security head Alejandro Mayorkas said in an official document, there is an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers along the U.S. border, while Beijing Biden waived the 26 federal laws to build more border wall, Amid a record flood of immigrants, the DHS boss has furiously backpedaled, and he had a video statement which I will not subject you to. There is no new administration policy with respect to the border wall. Mayorka said in a statement, From day one, this administration has made clear that the border wall is not the answer. This remains our position, and our position has never wavered. The language in the Federal Register notice is being taken out of context and does not signify any change in the policy whatsoever. Bullshit. So these diversity hires, the zero life skill people, don't think we have any kind of research capability. So here is the statement, the Department of Homeland Security. It is signed by Alejandro Mayorkas, our favorite well, maybe Cuban Jew, which is very strange. This is not taken out of context. Here we go. There is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers and roads in the vicinity of the border of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries into the United States in the project areas pursued pursuant to sections whatever. I don't give a shit about that. In order to ensure the expeditious construction of the barriers and roads in the project areas, I have determined that it's necessary that I exercise the authority that vested in me to basically waive all the bullshit environmental regulations. Now, Alejandro Mayorkas, English may not be your first language, but let me give you a little hint here. When you start a paragraph with the sentence, there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers and roads in the vicinity of the border of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries into the United States in the project areas. That's not taken out of fucking context, you absolute fucking smooth brain dipshit. All right. So, hey, you know, welcome to English 101 there, Mr. Cuban Jew. So anyway, <laughs> it's not taken out of context. Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. Look at all these environmental regulations that just construction projects all have to fucking deal with. And you wonder why, oh my god, there's even fucking more of them. Jesus Christ, there's, oh, there's a, at least there's a full page and uh, you know, maybe 1.2 pages of just regulation bullshit on this page. Look, look at this, some of this stupid shit. Uh, the, <laughs> I can't even pronounce that. Archaeological and Historic Preservation Act, uh, Antiquities Act, uh, Historic Sites, Buildings, and Antiquities Act, Farmland Protection Act, Policy. What the fuck is all this bullshit? Seriously. National Fish and Wildlife Act of 1956. Oh my god. Holy shit. How? <laughs> the Eagle Protection Act. Fuck off. Seriously. So, the Native American Graves Protection and Repri Rep Repatriation Act. Oh my god. And you wonder why construction costs a fucking fortune, my friends. You can thank Democrats for this mostly, I believe. Anyway, I, I should just fuck off. <laughs> Go to bed. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like my content, hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, leave me a com comment. I read all the comments, my friends, including the ones by hateful RFK Junior Bots. And uh, pick up some non-perishable food, and God bless.